Paris is known as the city of love and is a fantastic place to start any European trip. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the best things to do in Paris. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So of course, the first thing you have to do whilst you're in Paris is visit the iconic Eiffel Tower. Get here early to avoid the crowds or visit late at night for a romantic experience and to see Paris lit up. Remember, there will be two queues, one for the lift and one for the stairs. So make sure you join the right queue when you arrive. The next thing you have to see whilst you're in Paris is the Louvre Art Museum. This popular museum is home to the world famous Mona Lisa and it is worth trying to get a view of it, even if you have to wait for some time to see it. It is smaller than you may expect. You can also see other masterpieces whilst appreciating the beautiful architecture of the museum itself. Another thing to do in Paris is to see the Notre Dame Cathedral. This is one of the oldest and grandest cathedrals in the world, known for its incredible stained glass windows. Although you currently can't go inside the cathedral after the 2019 fire destroyed a lot of this famous building, you can still visit the neighborhood and see the impressive architecture outside of the building. Then we have Arc de Triomphe. Paris is full of iconic monuments and the Arc de Triomphe is another great example of this. Found at the end of the Champs-Élysées, this is another popular tourist attraction that offers more than you may expect. You can head inside of the Arc itself and climb to the top for a different view of the city and shopping street nearby. Then we have the Champs-Élysées. So after appreciating the Arc de Triomphe, take a walk along this famous shopping street. Yes, this is super touristy, but you can enjoy some window shopping and even try a few French treats along the way. Whilst you're in Paris, why not take a day trip out to the Versailles, a royal chateau around 40 minutes away from the city centre of Paris. In 1682, the royal court moved here and remained here till 1789. You can take a train direct from Paris and make sure to book the 90-minute tour to explore the chateau and its surrounding grounds. Next, we have the Pompidou Centre. This is the largest modern art museum in Europe and is known for its interesting design. The plumbing and pipes of the museum are located on the exterior of the building, all in vibrant colours. This is a unique museum to see from the outside, but head inside to see modern art from across the world. Also, make sure to take a food tour whilst you're in Paris. France is known for its amazing flavours. Enjoy the breads, wines, pastries, cheeses and more on a food tour around the city. There are a lot of companies to choose from and we will leave links to popular options in the description below. Sitting atop of the highest hill in Paris is the Sacre Coeur. Head here to watch a fantastic sunset and make sure to walk the 300 steps to the top for an even better view. Then one of my favourite things to do in Paris is to visit the Montparnasse Tower for fantastic 360 degree views of the city that include the Eiffel Tower, head to the Montparnasse Tower. You can head here in the afternoon to enjoy the view during daylight, then watch the sunset from high above the city. Make sure you book your tickets online to avoid queuing and get yourself a day and night pass that allows you to visit the tower twice within 48 hours. And lastly, for those that are visiting Paris with children or are big kids at heart, make sure to take a day trip out to Disneyland Paris. The parks are undergoing a lot of renovation at the moment and are the perfect time to explore. So make sure you hop on the train and spend at least one day at the Disney parks. Watch this video to find out the things to know before you visit Paris. Then to learn more about the things not to do in Paris, watch this video. We hope you have a fantastic time in the city and stay creative.